Okay, hello everyone. Um, hello to all other UVic clubs and the Department of External Affairs Division of Communication Marketing. My name is Thomas O'Flynn. I'm from Vancouver and moved to Victoria in September of 2021. I am a second year applying to the BCom program. I currently will continue to be a licensed life insurance agent with World Financial Group. Um, uh, hello, my name is Declan Smith. I am a third year history student in the humanities program and I'm from Victoria. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm a second year student studying financial mathematics and economics. And I'm, uh, I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, today, I will be sharing with you UVic Boxing. Um, the aim of this presentation is to share a simple understanding of the club using simple slides in a simple format. Um, you, going over founding and inception, operations, merchandise, boxing class, open gym, fight nights, and vision. I first started boxing at the beginning of grade 12, almost two and a half years ago. Uh, boxing had changed my life. I found confidence in who I was and how I carried myself. I began to develop a growth mindset and began to take more risks in life. A fiery passion for boxing grew and with the friends I would train with. Coming to UVic last year and staying in residence, I wanted to start a business project, something to gain experience on, and landed on the idea of a boxing club, which combined my passion for boxing with entrepreneurship. The same way had boxing had built me into a new and better person, I could share that with others at UVic. At UVic, there was no boxing club prior. I was starting from scratch. In the first week of my being at UVic, I approached Jason Wright, a CARSA programmer, who helped guide me into creating a boxing class with Vikes active living through my first semester. He said that I needed three things, people, gear, and a coach. For people, I found three ladies who lived upstairs for me in my residence, and they helped make me a poster with QR codes. And I used that poster on clubs day. And if you scan the QR code, you can enter, you can express your interest for a boxing club by putting your name and email in there. On clubs day, I got 160 people to submit their interest for a boxing club, 300 overall in the entire semester. Um, so that covered gear, I mean, sorry, people. And there was definitely an interest for boxing at UVic. Uh, for gear, I reached out to the big distributors in BC and Alberta to get gear from, from a wholesaler for cheap to provide for a class. And we get a pair of boxing gloves for $28 a pair. Um, for a coach, um, I networked very hard and I found a coach from Island Boxing for 50 an hour. Um, throughout, in addition, in addition to finding those three components, people, gear, and coach, uh, throughout my first semester, as I began to market the club in person or on Instagram, I would train consistently on Monday and Wednesday nights at Carsa. And a few people started to join me. Others who had the same passion for boxing. It took me all of my first semester to find these components and put them together. Community building. Ultimately, entering winter semester of 2022, the boxing class sold out all 30 spots, producing just under $4,000 in revenue. Initially, this had started out as a simple business project that became a club with a growing community. Um, yeah, now I'm going to be passing off the uh, presentation off to Declan Smith, Vice President. Hello, UVic clubs and staff. Uh, I'm basically just going to be sharing a little bit about how our club works and some of our club culture. So in terms of our operations, how we actually operate everything, we usually use Instagram to post updates on merchandise, fight night events, or answer questions with people, including networking. Uh, Instagram is currently like an essential tool to how we run the club. It's kind of like our central media, social media presence right now. And it's how we promote the class, merchandise, and everything else. Um, Linktree, that is in our Instagram bio, basically helps funnel profile visitors into registering for classes, uh, ordering merchandise, signing up for our newsletters, or to be notified of other events that are happening surrounding the club. Uh, funding for our club is secured through UVSS based funding and also for special project grants and all of the funds that we get from that are used to purchase gear for our members. Uh, there are currently three executives who are presenting here today, me as vice president, Thomas as president, and Austin as another vice president. Um, the majority of our marketing for our club is done on club day or Thunderfest. Uh, we've grown to a good size because of this. Uh, and we're generally getting most of our members from what we understand by word of mouth. Like we don't get much from online marketing. Um, generally, we sell out within a few hours or days of promotion at Club Days or Thunderfest. 
So we had a good merchandise run for our club last year. Uh, currently, we're doing another one right now. And we consider members' opinions when making our designs. We really like our members' inputs and participation in making this stuff. And it's just a good way to like promote the club, get some memorabilia, and it's generally pretty comfy as well. And the profits from this are all reinvested into the club. So for a class, this is kind of like the meat of our club. Uh, it's like a streamlined way to engage with boxing for UVic students. It's a structured one hour course with a professional coach uh, to provide guidance and movements for students. It's We charge 80 bucks per semester, which I think is very reasonable compared to most gyms in the city. And our classes take place Monday to Wednesday every week, apart from certain dates like on um, reading break from 5 to 6 p.m. It's taught in CARSA at the Fieldhouse. And if a member does not have gear for the class, they purchase gear off our website for very cheap. And the reason uh, it is so cheap at around $65 is because we don't want to profit off it. We just want people to have the tools to get into the sport. Um, <clears throat> so our coaches are a mixture of professional and amateur boxers, and they are very experienced so i i trust them completely when running the class and they're there to teach just the basics to the uvic community it's like a beginner kind of style class our coaches have testified that uvic is actually like the most entertaining space they coach in mainly because people who are there genuinely want to learn and improve their fitness so they get a lot of joy out of it uh, these classes are led by the coach, but uh, us executives help direct the class and also help with like safety measures and alike. So this is a fast selling class. We we sold out uh, 30 spots for two semesters straight and it kind of signaled to us we needed more spots. So we raised it to 40 spots and that still sold out within the first day. Um, so for people who can't secure a spot on time, we generally direct them to our free open gym. Uh, if we were to raise the class 50 or maybe even 60 spots, I'd fully expect we would sell out in a few days of promotion. Uh, the boxing class is basically the central way on UVic campus students engage with boxing. I'm going to hand it off to Austin for the final thing. Hi, so we do have open gym on every Wednesday right after this class from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, it's a free job in section. We use this um, free trial at the beginning of the term. Um, at open gym, there is is self directed, but you got to train with other people. Um, we don't have coaches at open gym, but there are more advanced members that uh, show up gen, uh, very often. So in the first semester, twenty twenty one, there was no classes, and there were less than six members at open gym. In twenty twenty two winter, we have nine active members and increased to fourteen in the fourth term. At the beginning of this semester, we have a spike. We have a spike of 34 people at one single section, at one single section, although with an average attendance of 50 members throughout the semesters. Um, so we organize five nights about every two months to watch MMA or boxing events. It is open to all members. So the five nights more of uh, social events so members can see each other in a different context instead of fitness. fitness. So there's two purposes of open gym. I mean, finite. The first one is aimed to build a sense of community. And the second one is to show boxing and martial arts at the highest level. The most recent finite was held last Saturday and there were about 15 members showed up. The vision, UV Boxing Club, there are a couple of important things. First of all, like Declan say, said, we are trying to ex expand classes. Secondly, we are going to try to recruit executive to extend the legacy and longevity. And we are also trying to expand um, respons responsibilities. Also, we are offered to teach boxing to um, WIA, which is the Youth Soccer Academy. So we are reaching out to them right now. And uh, most importantly, we are trying to connect with UV, uh, UBC Boxing Club, currently with the phone number of the president, so we will contact them ASAP. Um, UV, UBC Boxing Club has been around for eight years, compared to us for only about two years. Um, they run a completely different system, one that works and we are trying to learn from. And um, most impressively, they ho host small tournaments. We would plan to learn how what they did and replicate it. And maybe one day we gotta fight UBC.
Uh, thank you very much. As, That's all as, of as a joke. As a joke. I don't yeah, know if you think, think we'll approve that, but 